called me and said, hey, Nanny just sent a bunch of her old jewelry. What are we gonna do with it? So I said, hey, let's go on Pinterest. <laughs> Doesn't know what we all do. I found a really cool way to use old jewelry that nobody wants. Of course, we did go through and find things we did want and we're keeping them. But for the ones that we don't wanna keep, I'm gonna make some art. I got some velour. Yes, it's kind of cheapy, but it's going to be a great backdrop for jewels. So let's look at Nanny's jewels. She sent oodles and oodles of things. Now, my grandmother that we call Nanny is what we call our grandma. And just tons and tons of very large gaudy jewelry. I decided, because my grandmother really likes to garden, that I would make a little topiary scene. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this lace and make um, pots for holding my topiary plants in. You know, like a little pot. Anyway, let's see what we can do. So I've got my lace and I've made three different sections. That one's finished. This one's finished. I'm still working on here. So I've got my needle and thread. this over a canvas and it's going to require a few holes in the canvas to let some of these things sit flush but we're gonna figure that out as we go you could totally do this on just wood and not have to worry about the holes um, but at the same time I think the canvas is gonna provide some more support and I did add a little bit of support here with an extra thing fused together in the area of the beading and pretty much all the way up to here. So all of this area is fused. Fused, fused. Um, but having it on the canvas is also gonna add some more support.
So the next step is to send this off to North Carolina and have my aunt frame it for my nanny's 86th birthday. And hopefully she's not too upset about us ripping apart all the things that she didn't want anymore. But she didn't want them anymore, so we made them into something beautiful. <laughs>